The euro traded slightly higher overnight on stronger than expected inflation data from Spain and Germany, along with eurozone consumer inflation expectations retreating. But it was U.S. GDP and jobless claims that turned the tables. Final U.S. GDP for quarter one topped expectations, revised from 1.4% to 2%, while initial jobless claims fell to a four-week low of 239,000. The strong data boosted the U.S. dollar versus the euro and other foreign currencies as U.S. Treasury yields surged, highlighted by the two-year yield rising to a 4.9 percent, the highest since March 10th. This leads into tomorrow, where we see German unemployment data at 2.55 a.m. Central Time and the Eurozone CPI report at 4 a.m. Central Time before the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation indicator, the U.S. Core PCE Index, at 7.30 a.m. Central Time. From the technical side, today's weakness has the euro decisively below the 50-day moving average for the first time since June 14th. But it is holding out in front of the 21-day moving average at 108.86, a level that will help define short-term bullish momentum.